Hello, Pisces. How are you? Pisces. Don't forget to wear your mask and wash your hands. Please. They got all the stuff in the store that you can use for free. Pisces. Um, thank you for all those who like, share, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for um, all those who donate to my channel. Get private readings. Know that my readings are spiritual. Thank you for all those who um, go on my web and purchase the bracelets. Alright, this is... Everybody's asking me about that bracelet. Just the one I made. It's a chakra bracelet with all the colors. All the colors. Okay. Um, and I also got all... All the regular chakra that I made custom. They're custom made. Um, thank you for um, those who buy the candles made to your preference, what you want, whether it's love, whether it's just keep whatever it is away from you, um, open the doors for you, whatever it is that you want, you can get it done, okay? I can fix your candle. Um, thank you for all those who um, get the baths, okay, the salt baths. This is a salt path. Okay. See that? That is some big old rock salt baths that I make. Um, I'm also making men's bracelets. Uh, I have oils for you to use on your um, candles, um, baths, um, soaps, whatever it is. You want, you can um, order. These are soaps, different soaps. All right, different soap. The rouge soap. Um, the plants to make your, it's 20 in a box. Okay, and they're big and they're nice. To get all the nonsense and all that out of your house. Okay, and this is to clean your house. You must know that you need to clean the house. You don't know what the hell's going on. You come in and out the energies. This is the uh, Gloria um, water. All right, you can use this to take a bath and clean your house. So it's all here for you to make money, to do your own thing. This is my a sage, okay? I got rocks. Okay, just go right onto my web page and you can get whatever you like. I am very reasonable. Okay, so let's do the reading, Pisces. How y'all doing? I started doing my readings 12 o'clock midnight. I don't know what I ate, but it got me so sick. I felt like I had poison, food poison. And I just got up, woke up to do the reading. I couldn't even move earlier. Honey, it was crazy. Okay, Pisces, here we go. The first three cards is you, the Spirit, and God. So know that um, whoever's coming across and over to you and doing in your reading, um, you never know who's stepping up in your reading. Okay? This is a general reading, not a private reading. Take what is yours. You got the two of pentacles. Two of pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You have the wheel of fortune. Jupiter. And you got the nine of pentacles. I might be sitting there taking a lot of selfies and things. And the nine of pentacles. All right. Um, so you got the two of pentacles. You got pentacles here now. The two of pentacles. The two of pentacles here. You got two boats and a water look. 
one of them is if the water looks the one is so far from you the water looks calm the one is near you it looks rough you got clouds he sit on a rock trying to balance himself off and juggle two coins um he is um he's um got the eight the eight is like infinity this is supposed to be supposed to be number eight all right he is performing something for you but he needs to definitely uh juggle juggling to making sure that something is balanced here okay um is um you create an um you have to create something. Something has to be balanced in your life that allows you to be more, to be the best that you can be. Okay, a need to balance many aspects of self, juggling um, objects, um, uh, looking for equalness, um, looking for harmony, want to be happy. All right, with all those. With all those roles, with all those roles, roles and responsibilities that you have juggling, you may be feeling a little bit imbalanced, busy. Okay, busy, much busy. Um, maybe your um, calendar is totally overbooked. You may feel the stress of being stretch in too many different direction okay you may be feeling the need to be better at balancing and dealing or opening an aspect of your life the time alone versus the time with others or your material life versus your spiritual life oh they telling you to balance time or others okay or time alone or the material life versus your spiritual life you gotta make time for you and get your priorities straight sometimes we are all over the place and so we know because stuff don't just doesn't feel right okay um make sure they aren't investing too too much uh, too many resource in one when both are equal as important don't put everything into one so i do tarot card reading i got my how about i have my spiritual life this is my spiritual life right i also open up my baby a baby she's brand new h and r on wheels and so uh, i gotta balance everything everything must be balanced in my life everything has to be balanced okay um sometimes we're not balancing things that we feel like we're tired all right this card suggests that you're likely about to um manage it all you're going to manage it all okay do you deserve this much juggling do you do you deserve to do that much juggling? Say you um, it's you're doing a lot. Slow down. Slow down. You gotta slow down, all right? Or you're gonna burn yourself out, all right? Uh, do you uh deserve to juggle all that? Ask yourself. Put some. Put some of your precious energy into creating a balance that you are absolutely love that you create a balance that you are absolutely love get it together all right loved ones that will allow you time to work be i mean be with somebody that allows you and i ain't gonna say allow you nobody has to allow you to do shit you do what you gotta do um that you can play love and create all of that together okay different take time to go out take time to work take time this 
relax, will not take from your um, resource of energy, but will add to it. By you balancing everything around you, it's going to be good because it's not going to take away anything. It's just going to add and enhance what you're doing. Whether it's for the family, a job, whatever it is, you need to balance yourself. Do you understand? Balance everything. Job, career, love life, friends, uh, kids, whatever it is. Don't stretch yourself in all different ways to please somebody. Now, we don't do that. We need to balance ourselves, not someone else. The will of fortune, okay? The will of fortune, Jupiter. Jupiter. So, the will of fortune here, and this Jupiter, um, you are sitting there, uh, sitting there, um, uh, with everything you got to do, looking at everything you got to do, uh, and you know you got to balance everything or it just ain't going to work. Don't, don't try to please somebody do everything they want you to do. You don't do that. After you balance yourself and everything is okay because it seems like one is here, one is there, you, you know. But then here, look at you. You got the source, and it says tarot. Some of y'all tarot readers, but y'all, you know, look at her. She got the swords up, and you got the three elements, I mean the four elements of the car. You got air, water, fire, and earth. Okay? It just says balance. It just said that, right? But don't try to control it. Balance it. Don't control it. All right? It says you allow the transformation, the energy of the faith have to help you expand to your next level, okay? To change the faith, a desire, a lucky break, cycles up through karma lessons. It's things that you got to learn, okay? Being busy, a turning point, okay? Um, get ready, sweet soul, for the will is about to give you, a, the divine is about to give you a gift of blessings. It's, it's in front of you. So look for the wonderful new opportunity, okay, in your life, okay, ahead of you. Be prepared for the future, for the fortune is meeting or a, uh, a fork in the past that will change Everything for the better. If you open to spotting an opportunity, okay, it's yours for the take it. So take it. But you got to balance everything and take the opportunity that it's giving you. It may happen. You don't even know why. Why am I doing this? Take it. Don't question it. Do it. All right? Um, just follow the breadcrumbs. Your faith towards you a happy endings. That means follow the breadcrumbs because you know what? When you follow the breadcrumbs and you don't even know what you're doing, you're going to be fine because God always say, you feed the bread and I'll break that bread, that loaf of bread into thousands of pieces and I'll give you more money than you can possibly think. But don't sit there and want to control it. You can't do that, Okay. Remember that the will is always spinning and that things are never the same as before. Lean to enjoy this um, will and know that with every spin, you have to choose, okay, to circle towards, upwards, and towards your own experience. And enlightening, trying to control the outcome of the will of the fortune will prove to be impossible. So don't do it. Grab your lucky dice and see the spinning of the will for what is really, for what it really is. All those beauty of a lifetime of experience waiting to spin 
forward and be live. Don't try to control it. You got to balance situations in your life. And that will of fortune is spinning. That will of fortune seems like it's coming out all the time. It's a lot of things that are changing in your life. But the main thing is not to get so overwhelmed with it. It's not to get overwhelmed. Control everything. I don't care what the situation is. Let it go. You cannot control it. Balance your life. Have fun. Don't be serious all the time. Okay? You got the nine of pentacles. Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You got the nine of pentacles, right? Uh, you're moving. It's like, it's the, your cause is like about your coins. All right? You enjoy the blossom and abundance that you have sown with the nine of pentacles. Now you know what you want. Now you're looking at everything you ever worked for, right? Spirit, material, satisfied, personal achievement. Inner peace milestone met and celebrating the energy of success. A very successful harbor. Contentment. You are very content about what you're doing. Okay? You know those moments when everything feels a little bit brighter. You are reaching one of those moments and because you worked hard and you deserve it. When you will be Stepping into the manifesting in a hope. Everything you want, you're going to have. Those moments of spiritual and material blossoms are higher, personal, and serve as a funnel of glow and success. Look for this feeling as it sugar into your heart. Is it sugar into your heart? Look for the feeling as it sugar into your heart. Okay? And use the power to move mountains. Hello, you can do whatever you want. Okay, believe in it. And use the power to use mountains. Spread love and uh, enjoy your harbor. Go ahead, embark. You deserve it. Spending some time alone with, will help you to process your progress. And it's telling you two times. Spend time alone. As you spend it with others. Spend a lot of time with yourself so that you can think. Okay, balance your life. All right. Um, celebrate in the shadow. This cause suggests that you may be working too hard, not seeing enough in return. Okay, it's seen in the feeling of self worth and look at your energy, balance, and in and out. The rewards must always equal your energy expansions. And if you um, sense any unbalance, then it's time to make amends. It's time for you to make amends with whatever you To bring it back together, the harmony and the harbor you seek are in front of you right now. It's time, you know, you, you're trying to balance yourself. You got the will. Everything is telling you not to force it, but balance it. It's telling you that whatever your material world, your money, you know, bring balance to it. Bring love to your life. Balance everything. Everything must be balanced. Okay? The Two of Pentacles is now the lover's. Balance this relationship. You must balance it. Okay? The will of fortune. The will of fortune brings you the knight of wands. The lovers um, is a major iconic. Gemini. Then you got the fire. Area Sagittarius or Leo. For the knight. For the nine of pentacles. For the nine of pentacles. You have the Ten of Cups. So you went from the Nine to the Ten. You went from money to cups of love. Okay. So you went from them telling you balance your life in a love, in a, in a love connection, something here that you really want. Okay. It's something here that you want to balance, and it's in your love life. All right. 
It says your heart is open to deeply meaningful relationship in you expand into the union of a loving trust. You must trust yourself for what is coming or trust yourself in your situation and balance it. Don't give somebody everything you can't give yourself. Don't love somebody more than you can love yourself because you got the work. You got to do stuff. It's not all about, oh, I got to make sure this person is okay. Is that person making sure you're okay? Okay. Are they helping you? Think about it. All right. A choice, harmony, a love or relation or a romance relationship, friends, union, choose to allow yourself to fall in love in a healthy boundary way. In a healthy boundary, not no um not healthy, not you running to the rescue them and you ain't even happy. You must be happy when you're at it's telling you to balance everything. Okay. Uh, because this can be like a magical thing coming into your life. You are sitting on a creep of a typical or profound connection that happy happens when two souls are entwined and they're um, loving each other forever, marking their divine path. Marking two divine path. That means you do what you do, they do what they do. Okay, and that's the only way it can be. You can't control nobody, all right? Often this card suggests that an important choice needs to be made. You got to make a choice, okay? Will you embrace the uh, spiritual energy that unwinds between two people who are beginning to connect and choose to shift into a relationship or not? Maybe you're talking to this person. Maybe this person came back. Uh, maybe it's a new person, but somebody, uh, you're talking to them as a friend, but it's going to be more than that. Falling deeply into trust will be necessary in order to create an everlasting bond, grow around mobility, honest, deserve, and intimacy is, is beginning to call into the light. To be healed. You got to heal from all the past. You cannot bring the luggage to your new, where you at right now in your life. I don't care if it's somebody you met. I don't care if it's somebody from the past. I don't care if it's somebody you went. Okay? You need to balance this. You need to make a choice. You need to heal from whatever it is. All right? Um, while partnership are beautiful gifts on the on your path. You must also seek to give fully without weakening your results of remaining whole. You must give to this relationship without feeling that you give them too much of you and you still ain't feeling whole because then you're not with the right person. Remember that self-love is the key of balancing Okay, a relationship, any relationship, and it's telling you balance, balance your relationship, balance your career, balance the relationship with your career, balance the relationship with uh, having fun, all right? Don't get so serious. Then you got the world, the fortune, don't try to force it, you got it there. But then the knight of wands is... Standing there ready to take charge. They're ready to come at you. All right? Because it's the night of war. Somebody very fiery. Somebody that knows what they want. Okay? They're coming towards you. They know what they want and they want it. So whatever they want, they're going to get. All right? It says, in the pursuit of your image. And that's that, honey. In the pursuit, you manifest this fire with the inference. You're lighting the fire, feeling of inspiration. Okay, this passion is coming towards you. Um, in your dreams, first energy, creating, taking inspiration and act. The pursuit of adventure. All right, the will of fortune is bringing you a lot. All right? 
What have you been dreaming about? The night alarms loops in and out of your readings with a message of advance, of importance, and of bravery, pursuing things that inspire you more. Doing things that inspire you the most. Okay? The passion project you have been tasking with. The drums, the cycles you always wanted to join. Um, maybe you now doing something you always wanted to do. Um, allow uh, everything to come into your life and choose the gifts of yourself that freeze is a freedom of a ship that you did this reality and it's a match and you deserve it it's somebody here in this lover's card that is your match and you deserve them all right you deserve them all right when you feel to change up about an idea go with it Allow this high spirit energy to rush in and enlighten the fire, the wildfire of positive moments. In the shadow, this car is telling you counseling against ruckus and um, heat outbursts. You don't need to get all mad and get all funny and act crazy. All right, don't get like that. Because you know what you do? Sometimes you will. A person you just met and say you got somebody else in your life all right so now you're being mean to this to get with this all kinds of stupid shit balance that shit all right balance it in the shadow this car is telling you counsel against being reckless and don't be all getting all outbursts and get crazy all right don't do that you don't want all that um pop up uh creating energy to um it's not going to be good for you. Ban the flames and leave some energy for the long haul. Make your passion work for you while whipping yourself towards success. Whoever, you got a good reading here. Um, You got the lovers. You got the knight of wands who's was coming to you, which you deserve. But remember, everything you deserve, you also got to handle it. I mean, are, can you handle everything in your life? Can you handle everything? Don't take the shortcut and be, oh, I want to be with him, but I want to I want to keep him to play, but I want to keep him, uh-uh, you, you don't do that. Do you want to keep somebody you know and treat them like shit and the one that you don't even know and treat them good? Crazy. You got to balance everything in your life, every aspect, okay? This is coming. Whatever you want that you create, it's going to work. With this lover's card, someone's coming to you fiery, sexy. It can be sexy, sexy, and good in bed, and just fine as shit all the way around. All right? Because they're, they're showing up. They're making, they, they showing you they showing up. Okay? Then you got the Ten of Cups, all right? And with the Ten of Cups, uh, um, that is perfect that is beautiful after you got the lovers the knight of wands coming then you got the ten a cup the whole family the happy family and who is this you pisces scorpio and cancer that is you the happy family somebody the house everything your house is by a river uh the light is shining the rainbows you got the kids everything somebody that's going to love you for you I live in a state of wholesome by bringing harmony and love to your relationship. You got to be happy and bring what you want to bring to the table. All right? Community, love, soulmate, harmony in a relationship and family, divine connection, heart open and exploring with wholesome. You're doing it all with this person. You want it. This person wants to do it all with you. This car has a powerful energy of a connection from the heart. All right, this ain't this relationship ain't just the any relationship. This relationship is from the heart. Okay, gain love, 
okay? And devotion, accepting, often seen as the one big family, happy family, and is gaining that yes for a relationship or love. Um, it's saying go for it, okay? You being it's like a fairy tale ending, like you don't even believe it's happening, all right? And it's hey, you go you got to um decide with the soulmate and the unicorn. With the soulmate and the unicorn, they saying, um, unicorn ended, looks like, it's like, you're going to make a decision on what this is going to look like. It's up to you to decide how you want this relationship to look like and what do you really want out of this relationship. What is it? What are you looking for in it? Are you going to have the same thing? You Are you going to act like you did before with everyone else? What are you going to do? Um, allow your heart to expand this energy and pour into all of your connection, including those with your community. So everybody's happy for you. You, your family, your friends, this person, everything. People are happy for y'all. Include those with your um, community. The shadow of this cross suggests that you need to look and how you feel about yourself with a relationship. On the shadow side, it's telling you, well, how do you see yourself with this person? How? You know, you got to look at it both ways. All right? Um, white picket fence in order to find happiness. Remember that you joy, your joy will come only from the in out. The, the happiness is going to come from within you. If you're not happy in you, it's not going to show outside of you, okay? Um, by waiting for other, by waiting for other people or better things, let me tell you, it's going to show inside, outside of you by waiting for other people or other things to create your happiness for you. Don't underestimate your own power to create your feelings of love. Bring gratitude and um. Um, gratitude into your life, okay, uh, every day. Focus on others and gifts that your uh, energy with time, kindness, and servants. You cannot think that somebody else is going to make you happy. You got to make yourself happy and go within yourself, not out, inside. And when you go inside, you, you're searching for the real you, for what you really want. You can't be feeling like, uh, you know, everything is good when it's not. Or you want to be happy outside, but you're not happy in the inside. Like, it's not good, okay? It says the Eight of Cups. You're, you're going to make a decision to walk away from something that no longer serves you, okay? And that's the end of Whatever this happiness is, that's what it's going to be. You got the five of wands. You got the eight of cups, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, to walk away from something. And then you got the five of wands. A lot of, these are young people, petty shit. Just dumb shit, like playing these little games and shit. But something, people that, that I don't know, just a bunch of craziness. Uh, then you got the king of pinnacles. Okay. So you have decided to walk away from a bunch of nonsense that ain't even worth your time. Uh, or um, to go to this king of pinnacles. Ooh, I like that. So at the end, you're really walking away from a lot of bullshit to this or... This um, Eight of Cups is telling you that it's time to move away. It says, walking away from neg negativity and you choose yourself in rebalance of self-act of love. And I love that. I love that you choose yourself. Like, you ain't got time for that shit, all right? Letting go, releasing that which no longer serves you. In a ritual, releasing a time to move 
move sticky energy. Walk away, leave your old reality to pursue a new one. Leave it old for new, okay? Abundance, disappointment. Maybe you won't be disappointed, but you got to go. Maybe you feel like uh, you're being abandoned, but you got to go. Okay? Um, it says, you have released your last cup into the sea, and the bowl is burning. Okay? It's over. It's time to walk away from something in your life. Choose your uh, situation. Okay? Feelings. Disappointment is one of the biggest acts of self-love that you can interact. When you take that very first step, you begin to choose yourself. There is nothing more healing or more powerful than you picking yourself. Okay? Ain't nothing bigger than that. That's self-love. Okay? Um, find yourself, uh, finding your res uh, resolve and finding what you want to resolve and any anchor that are holding you back through your uh through your disappointing you because you need that TLC you can uh realign your path by um shedding outgrown experience hope helping hold people ideas beliefs guilt or a way of being so you may be with somebody that's a different belief than you feeling guilt or walking away from this person or way of being you might be feeling all this but you gotta do what you gotta do you gotta choose yourself not the situation yourself okay if you find yourself exhausted or uh confused or jumping from thing to thing know that you are entering a mysterious a mysterious period of uh of of spiritual shifting and that releasing all old stories will help you to travel in the light go in the direction okay of happiness okay in a great meaning go in the direction that's going to make you happy because self-love is everything if you don't love yourself then if you choose other people before you it ain't gonna work. Then you got the five of wands right here. Five of wands. Um, let me tell you, uh, the five of wands is um, you support others and they support you, and you rise together into harmony. Okay, that's a lot of people that want to support you. Um. It may be confusion. It may be a challenge in being pushed by others to assist. Brainstorm, mental uh, journey. Um, someone's pull, pushing you to to the level of what you what that you gotta walk away, but you got to realize what you wanna do. Can be you know feeling a little uh. Unbalance can be a good feeling that, that you need to fix this uh, to be in a good place. Or uh, it can be pushed, it can push us to become the very best in our vision and see, to see in our vision in ourselves. By you walking away from the five, the eight of cuss to the five of wands, it's and whatever it is that you're walking away from is pushing you to see the better you. And um, and to move quickly than you would if you were alone. Allow um, people that challenge you to help you to, to um, elevate. It's like people you're going to be working with, uh, with everything. Uh, you don't want things to be unhealthy, and you are experienced in the shadow side. It's confusion. It's arguing. It's time to take a back step and um and retrieve from um this energy that are 
hitting you from progressing. Uh, you need to let go of things that are not helping you grow. I don't give a damn what it is. Sometimes the need to be right all the time or a personal feeling around being unquestioned or challenged can be interfering with the ability to see your path clearly. So you may need to fly solo for a bit in order to reveal um, your own decisions. Okay, wow. Crashing eagles can slow everything down. They can also prepare you for success. Choose to assist. Look for the healthy, um, working with people in a healthy way. Okay, that's going to motivate you, not hold you back. Learn from others and use the energy as a way to enrich your experience. You are walking away, but you need to choose yourself. And you need to have self-love. That's what it is. It says walking away. And then you're working with people or around people that maybe want to tell you what to do. Okay? And when they do that, that, prop, that energy around somebody that's not good for you or people that are not good for you, it's holding you back from moving. So, yeah, take a lot of time for yourself. It's always time for people, but... Take time for self. You don't have to be with a person all the time. You want to work with people? You don't have to be with them all the time. Take time for yourself, okay? Because then you got the king of pentacles. And that's when you're coming into this energy. You're really taking that place that you become the king of pentacles. The king, not the queen, the king, the boss. All right? It says... You dream endlessly in potentials to assist where study where you are studying and you deserving everything you do. The King of Pentacles is someone that has it all. They don't need no one to make them. They're self-made. They got everything they want and some. Okay? Overflow of material abundance, patience, and determination. Okay, confidence, a warm leader, provide for others, comfort and secure. Personal growth, goals are reached. Prosperity and success. That's when you know what you know. You the boss. And they know you the boss. Okay? Um, the King of Pentacles welcomes you into his study for a heartfelt conversation about life. He works his fields, meet his soulmate, finds wealth, and now he looks out over his dreams manifesting as he offer you one of the tarot most potential message of forecoming abundance and prosperity the most important thing to you to to be done is to enjoy it all sweet share enjoy every lesson challenge failures and success you he reminds you to get clear on what you want to be to plan and envision what it is you want there is manifesting power in the long in the longing and so much joy to experience as you bring your greatest potential into assistant happiness happiness happy when you do better than the last time and in the pursuit of personal growth, allow yourself to ascend what you deserve, to rest, right? Um, to go on with the flow of, of your faith. Uh, study habits or be encouraged to create immortal dreams, dreams, dreams that you are dreaming bigger, like of a life. You're dreaming this and it's, it's becoming bigger than you can imagine. I just feel like your reading is saying that someone here, this is about a relationship. This is about you balancing a relationship. This is about you still got to love yourself. I don't care what nobody tells you. You got to love yourself more than you can ever, ever love them. Okay, you don't want to get back into how you used to be. You want to be a whole new way. 
of doing things a whole new way. Okay, and don't even be afraid to be yourself and be happy because that's the way it's got to be. Everything don't revolve around who wants to be in your life. It revolves around what you want, how you want, what you bring to the table. What do they bring to the table, okay? It's things that you want to do, all right, for yourself, okay? It says, morning, the world awaits you. Good morning, the world awaits you. It says, throne, your potential is endless. You are everything you will ever want to be. You're everything. You are everything. Confidence. It comes with time and patience. Everything is going to come with time and patience. Don't rush nothing because everything is going to come at the perfect timing. Do you believe that God is that powerful that he can make anything happen for you? Because, see, that's what I believe in. I, I put God first. Always. I don't care what nobody tells me. Because I know that God says with a plus. And I know that. And that's what he wants to do. He wants to bring it with a plus. Okay? And then you got a peaceful solution. If you're going to be doing this so soft. You're going to make this transformation so soft. They don't even see it coming. Com communication clear. Peaceful results. And communicate it clear about what you want so you can get it. Make sure they understand where you're coming from. All right? It ain't not like communicating where you understand and they understand. All right? Pisces, you know, you don't like to be questioned a lot. You just want people to just leave you alone. All right? But this person that's coming in your life, he wants to know everything. He likes to ask you 50 million questions. And the answer is yes. This person wants to know everything. All right? Everything about you. Mending the bridge. The healing rough. Okay? You got to amend whatever it is and come as one. Don't fight the energy. Come as one. Amend whatever it is that you need to amend. Listen with your heart while you're amending this. I trust the message I receive from my heart. All right? Trust what you receive it. Okay? Whatever it is or whoever it is or whatever it is that you got to amend, amend it. And do it gracefully. Do it very gracefully. You got a lot of good things going on here, but it's, you have to, you're thinking a lot. You always thinking. Always thinking. Let things be. Okay, to the sea and back. Hello, you're thinking. You need to go. Maybe you need to go to the near the ocean to really think. You're looking at everything, at everything. You observing everything, thinking about it. You need to take soft baths. You observing everything. Okay, situation is calling here for you to have tr to believe in it. To believe in it. To believe in yourself. Okay, trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. I just said that and it came out. You got to have faith about this. Healing family issues. Your love life benefit as you forgive your parents. My parents are passed away, but I, they're, I've been done the work. Your love, love yourself first. Self-love makes you more romantic, attractive. So whatever you go in, you got to trust the situation. If you got parents that you don't talk to, you need to amend things with these people. Even if you're not their best friend, amend it. Well, at least you can talk. Okay? Whatever it is, y'all need to talk to them. Even if these people are dead, y'all still need to go to their grave site and amend shit. Amend it. Okay, just because somebody's dead don't mean they can't. They're not there. They're around you all the time. Someone is leaving a nest. Someone is looking, watching you. Lurking. Want to see what you're doing. After all the clouds you've been through, the sun will shine. You're going to see everything clearly for what it is. Okay, because you are a privileged woman. You take pride in what you do. 
your business is not all over the place. You're quiet. You're, you like to be alone. You like to do things alone. Pisces, I feel like you have someone here that loves you and you love them. But I also feel like you got to have balance in your life. I feel like it's a give and take and don't do everything for everybody. Okay, I don't care if it's a partnership because this is a loving car, but you got part, you got love, you got business, you got everything going at one time. You got to balance everything. And if somebody gets mad at you because you're doing something that's more important than to see them and you got mad, then they got to get mad, get over it. But you got, you're not, you're one person. And you got to balance everything in your life. And do it with class. Don't get all nasty and shit. No matter how nasty or whatever they got to make uh, say to you that you feel like you're going to get nasty, don't even do it. Just chill. Okay? Don't show that part of you. Grow up. Somebody got to grow sooner or later. Okay? If you need a private reading, get it. But I'm telling you right here, and maybe it's somebody that's in a, in a, uh, it, it didn't say in a third party, but someone's leaving somebody to make a move to somewhere else. And I ain't going to call it a third party because you're not feeling like that. You probably feel like they ain't number of friends anyway. Or whatever. Maybe somebody is married. Or whatever it is. Okay? So if you want a private reading, get it from me or someone else. But this is a general reading. Get Take what applies and leave the rest, okay? I love you. Love you to pieces. Bye, Pisces.